Welcome back to another exciting episode of The Risky Business. Today, we're diving deep into the fascinating life and mind of the one and only Peter Thiel. You might know him as the co-founder of PayPal, an early Facebook investor, and a Silicon Valley legend, but there's so much more to this risk-taking entrepreneur. So, grab your popcorn and buckle up because it's about to get interesting. Our story begins in Frankfurt, Germany, where Peter Thiel was born in 1967. His family moved to the United States when he was just one year old, settling in Cleveland, Ohio. From a young age, Thiel showed a remarkable aptitude for mathematics and was a National Merit Scholar. Thiel attended Stanford University and later studied law at Stanford Law School, but it wasn't long before he ventured into the world of startups. Fast forward to 1998 when Peter co-founded Confinity, a company that would later merge with X.com, eventually becoming PayPal. PayPal revolutionized online payments and made Thiel and his colleagues very wealthy, but it didn't stop there. PayPal also birthed the legendary PayPal Mafia, a group of entrepreneurs who went on to create some of the most successful tech companies of our time, including Tesla, SpaceX, LinkedIn, and YouTube. Peter Thiel's role in this network of innovators was pivotal. Zero to one. Peter Thiel is known for his contrarian investing style. He's not afraid to take risks and challenge the status quo. His book Zero to One has become a bible for entrepreneurs looking to create groundbreaking companies. Every moment in the history of business, every moment in the history of technology happens only once. The next uh, Mark Zuckerberg will not be building a social networking site. The next Larry Page will not be building a search engine. The next Bill Gates will not be building an operating system company. If you're copying these people, in some sense, you're not learning from them. Thiel believes in creating monopolies through innovation, emphasizing the importance of building something entirely new rather than competing in crowded markets. Thiel argues that a successful business should aim for monopoly or at least a dominant market position. He contends that competition in crowded markets leads to diminishing profits and is not conducive to sustainable growth. Instead, he suggests that companies should focus on creating and dominating a niche market, making them the unrivaled player in that specific domain. Thiel asserts that competition can stifle innovation. In a competitive market, companies tend to replicate each other's products and services, leading to incremental improvements rather than groundbreaking advancements. Monopolies, on the other hand, have the freedom to focus on long-term innovation without the constant pressure to outdo rivals in the short term. Thiel encourages businesses to build strong barriers to entry around their markets, referred to as moats, these moats can be in the form of proprietary technology, network effects, brand loyalty, economies of scale, or regulatory advantages. By establishing these moats, a company can protect its market dominance and fend off potential competitors. Thiel advocates for the first mover advantage, being the first to introduce a groundbreaking product or service allows a company to establish itself as the dominant player before competitors can catch up. This early lead can be instrumental in achieving monopoly status. Thiel makes a distinction between achieving a monopoly through innovation and engaging in monopolistic behavior that harms consumers. He emphasizes that it's crucial to build a monopoly by delivering superior value to customers rather than through unethical or anti-competitive practices. Thiel's concept of monopoly aligns with a long-term vision for a company. He believes that sustainable success is not about quick profits but about creating lasting value. Monopoly, in his view, provides the space and resources for businesses to invest in groundbreaking research and development that can shape the future. Now, Peter Thiel is no stranger to controversy. His support for Donald Trump and his involvement in various political and ideological debates have stirred the pot. But his impact on technology, venture capital, and entrepreneurship cannot be denied. Thiel's influence extends beyond Silicon Valley. He's been an advocate for technological advancement space exploration, and has even dabbled in biotechnology with the Thiel Fellowship, which encourages young entrepreneurs to skip college and pursue their ideas. Before we wrap up today's episode, let's distill three invaluable lessons we can learn from Peter Thiel. Embrace contrarian thinking. Thiel's success is a testament to his willingness to challenge conventional wisdom. Instead of competing in crowded markets, seek out opportunities to create something that can change the world. 
take calculated risks. Thiel's career is a testament to his appetite for calculated risks. He knows when to take a leap of faith and when to hold back. Innovate fearlessly. Thiel's zero-to-one philosophy encourages us to innovate fearlessly. Rather than simply imitating what's already out there, strive to build unique solutions that can transform industries and create monopolies through innovation. These lessons from Peter Thiel's life and career can inspire all of us to think differently, take bold steps, and make our mark in the world of business and innovation. Stay tuned for more inspiring stories on the risky business and remember, fortune favors the bold.